Good morning! I got my smoothie. Got something in my teeth too. Uh oh. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, now you know. And you guys, today we're going to be doing a review on the brand new Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. These little palettes. That is right, you guys. I did get these palettes in the mail a couple of days ago, and I they're so cute. They're called Snap Shadow Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palettes. I did get two of them on the Sephora website when I got them. They were offering, I think it was like 10% off or like $5 off if you got two of them. So I went ahead and got two of them. So I'm going to show them to you guys. We're going to do something really cool today because I want to do one look on one eye and one look on the other eye, and it's going to be super fun. By the way, real quick... Please do not mind this eye and kind of this eye. They're very red. The reasoning behind that was because I put in some contacts the other day and they were not new. They were actually quite old contacts. So I put them in. I thought they'd be fine. Turns out it super wasn't. Just all day yesterday it was just like leaky and it was just bad. So if you wear contacts, please make sure your contacts are clean before you put them in your eyes. Um, mine were clean, they were just old, so I think I just really irritated my eyes. <laughs> I have some brand new ones in right now, but as soon as I finish filming this, they're coming right out so I can let my eyes rest, but that's why I'm really sorry if that, that distracts you whenever I'm doing my makeup, but I promise I'll, I'll try to like color correct it out or something in post, but it's red. <laughs> But back to these guys, I did pick up two of them, like I said. I picked up number three and number five. Funny story, I actually did not mean to pick up number three. This is the Deep Neutrals, which I do like these colors. I do like them a lot, but I have literally almost every palette that I have has these exact same shades. I actually meant to pick up the Rose palette, the more like ready berry toned ones, but I had my, I guess I clicked on this one and then thought that I clicked on the rose one and then never did, so I got this one. It, again, is very, very pretty. I think they are still very nice shades. They are, again, quite neutral. You have a bit of orange in here, a couple of berry shades, which I do like, and then some nice browns over here. Uh, I will do a couple of little swatches because I haven't even touched these yet. These are brand spanking new to me. Ooh. Oh, these are super nice, very creamy, very pretty. Look at that, I love that. And then do these have shade names? They do, they're on the back, right here. So let me go ahead and grab a couple of the matte shades. They feel very buttery, pretty nice. Definitely a good formula so far in my opinion, really pretty. And then this one I did mean to pick up because I love these kinds of shades. This is the number five. This is the peach palette and I love these like peachy tones. They're some of my absolute favorites. This one has three metallic shades compared to the other one that only had two metallic shades. But these, hello? This one in general, oh hello? Ooh. So these ones do not seem to have as much of like a foiled effect. They still are quite pretty. I love this pinky shade. And then here is this kind of bronze coppery shade and then a nice yellow in there. They're not super duper vibrant, but they are still really, really pretty. So I am excited. And then after I do the eye looks, I'll kind of like go over my foundation and my makeup face makeup with you as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. I've already talked way too much. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Bad Habit Primer all over my lids and get them prepped and ready for shadow. And then we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Number no. 3 palette. And I am using the shade Nudie Booty in my crease. I did notice that this did blend out pretty well, so I do like it a lot. Nice light brown color. And then we're gonna go into the deeper brown shade, which is called No Fudge Given. These names are so funny. We're gonna deepen up the outer corner with this shade and then just make it a little bit darker and then I took a fluffier brush and then diffused it out and made it a bit more blended. Now we're going into this super duper awesome metallic shade. It is called Heaven Scent. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's beautiful. It went on super nicely. It went on with the... It did... I can't talk. And now we're going to go into this deeper metallic that is called Smasher Pass. <laughs> really liked it. Thought it was very pretty. On to the other eye. We're going into the number five palette. Picking up the transition and it is called... Buttroom, like tantrum, but buttroom. <laughs> Freaking blended out beautifully. I loved it. And now we're going into the slightly deeper shade, and it is called Shoot Your Shot. Oh my god. 
<laughs> these shade names. I don't even know. I, can I say this on YouTube? I don't know. But I love this shade. Very peachy. Freaking adored it. Blend it out a little bit more. And then we're taking the really light kind of peachy gold shimmery shade. And it is called Bellini Baby. I do love me some Bellinis, like a peach Bellini. Very good. And now I'm dragging this on an actual brush and kind of taking it up towards my brow bone. I love that look. Very really nice. Now we're gonna go on to the face. I'm spritzing my face with a little bit of the 4th Ray Beauty Glisten Up Mist. Freaking love this stuff. I actually really do like it. Now I'm going in with the 1st Day Beauty Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Primer. It's hydrating. I love it. It's very good. I was recommended it by Kathleen Lights and I freaking love it. And then for foundation, we're going into the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade 425. Why did I say it like that? 425. I like it. And now we're doing the Dose of Colors Concealer. This is in the shade Light 09. I have really kind of fallen in love with this concealer. I gotta say it's really nice. To set my face today, I'm using the ColourFop No... ColourFop? <laughs> ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. And then for bronzer, we're going back into Fenty with the Sun Soccer Bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. I absolutely love this bronzer. I've used it for quite some time and I just really like it. It's just a really good bronzer. I kind of go back and forth between this one and the Makeup Revolution one, but this one was the winner for today. For blush, we're doing the Luminoso blush from Milani. Absolutely love this blush. It has become a favorite of mine so far. We're going back into shadow into the 3 palette, and we're using that really super dark cranberry shade, and it is called Shots Fired. I really love the cranberry shade on the lower lash line. Onto the number 5 palette, we're going back into the shade called Shoot Your Shot. <laughs> And we're putting that on the lower lash line as well. And there's my little dance because I think I'm funny. And then we're going to do some liquid liner using the Tarte Double Take Liner on the number three eye because I thought that it would look really nice. And then we're going into the Lancome Montio Big Mascara on both eyes. We're not doing any liner on the other eye because I think that it looks a bit better without liner, but you can do whatever you want. But we are doing like two coats or three on the top end. Well, top lashes and then one coat on the bottom lashes and calling it a day and now I'm really mad on that clip because a speck of black got on my lids. We're going into lips now. This is the Nabla Dreamy and Creamy Liquid Lipstick in the shade Eve. Absolutely love this shade. It's beautiful. I'm obsessed with it and I love the, uh, the finish. And now we're going into some setting spray. This is the Lancome Fix It Forget It. It's really good. I like it. Mmm. All right, and you guys, these are the two finished looks using the new Fenty Beauty 3 and 5, the little snap shadows palettes. Oh my gosh, I actually forgot to tell you. I forgot to show you what these things actually do. I'm so sorry. I'm like so all over the place. The reason that these are so cool is that if you're like on the go, if you're planning to go anywhere, you can literally just like put them on the back of each other and they snap together. Like, how cool, how innovative, how cool is that? And then if you wanna take them off, you just pull them apart. So cool, I cannot believe I forgot to say that until just now, I'm so sorry. But yeah, these are the two finished looks. What are your thoughts? Um, let's go ahead and go over the number three, because this one's the first one that I did, this one right here. Um, I do like this look a lot, it seems very evening to me. I would put some lashes on, but I don't actually have any with me right now. But if you want to put lashes on, if you end up recreating this, if you put lashes on, I think it would look beautiful because it is a bit darker on the outer corner and then it has a nice red kind of sparkle on it. Really enjoy that and I love the winged liner. Now for the actual palette, I thought that this transition shade was beautiful. I actually forgot to set the primer on this eye. So I, I forgot to set it. I did set it on this eye because I remembered. Um, I forgot to do it on this eye and I went in with this transition shade and it worked super well. It still blended very nicely. I didn't have any skippy areas. I didn't have any issues with that. This darker shade right here, I really did like it a lot. As you can see, I have it on here. I did like it. I found that it was like a teeny tiny bit hard to blend into the crease, but once you work with it a, a bit, uh, I do think it works very well. And then the shimmer shade, the metallic we ended up using. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It applied great with the finger and picked up super nicely on the brush. I put a little Fix Plus on it and it just went on like a dream. Love this shimmer formula. I love the matte formula as well and then this shade right down here, this kind of cranberry shade. I put on the lower lash line. I did like it on there because I wanted to have kind of like a pop of cranberry because I did it on the lid so maybe put it down here. So like that. All in all, I do like this eye a whole lot. I think it's very pretty. 
onto this eye. This is my favorite. I love this eye very, very much. I did use the number five palette for this, the peach one. I think that this palette performed outperformed this palette, in my opinion. I think the shades blended so beautifully. I think they looked so pretty on the lid. If you can hear my boyfriend, I'm sorry. He's talking to his cousin. <laughs> but this shade right here, the one that we went in with, the transition, was beautiful. I think it worked very well. And this is my problem eye. The one that always messes up on me. The one that always, like, if, it, if, if a shadow is going to skip, if a shadow is going to be patchy, it's going to be on this eye. Not this eye, but this eye. I don't know why. And it's just how it always is. But I did set the primer on this eye after I did this one. I went ahead and did this one because I was like, okay, I have to set it. That transition shade was beautiful. I freaking loved it. And then the shade right here that I went in with next, I did kind of like a halo eye. So I put it in the inner corner and the outer corner and then connected at the top. Thought it was so nice. It blended out really, really great. And then I went in with this kind of duochrome peachy pink golden color. And then I put that on the lid. Super beautiful. I loved it to bits. Freaking loved it. So this one's my favorite out of the two of these. But I do like both looks. Guys, that is the completed look today. Uh, two looks using both of these palettes. Which one is your favorite? Which one would you be most inclined to wear please let me know in the comments but you guys this is going to be the video for today i really hope that you did enjoy it if you did then go ahead and click up that like button for me and then subscribe if you want to if you want to see the videos that i post and when i post them click the little bell down at the bottom there again my name is kenzie i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next video Bye bye